Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purpose, to keep you up and get you aware of what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, more especially. I bring the information to your doorstep. They are not lies. Most of the videos you're going to watch here are videos that are coming from the conventional media. And some of us sometimes are lazy to get into it. Some of us are, sometimes are too busy to be able to lay our hand on this. That is why I bring the videos to your doorstep. Watch from beginning to the end. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes so that you can be educated and know what is going on. Let us watch together. At the end, you can go to the comment section and put down your comment. Give your opinion. Say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to come against you. It's a free world, and this is the social media where people say it and set the record straight exactly the way it is without being controlled. Do that on the comment section. Let us watch the video together as it comes. Thank you. Secondly, concerning the denials, I am not surprised. What do you expect the police to say? Wasn't it the police in Kanu that denied the bombing when it happened? And two days after, the DSS said the police was lying, that they actually saw people they caught people that drove with bombs into Kano. We interviewed the police spokesperson from Kano on this same show, and he denied. And we all knew that he was lying by his teeth. But finally, we saw what happened. All right, too much trouble in this country. I'll make sure you share this video as uh, uh, I'm checking the reaction of people as uh, President Mahmoudou Buhari in Kano and some angry youths, they pursue the helicopter, try to stone the man. I want to make you watch the video and see even uh, uh, for the reaction of Nigerians, the reaction of the Arrive TV on this morning. Uh, and just check it out, check the video out and I will talk after. People they hungry for this country. People they hungry. And no be say uh now nah, one part of the country anymore. Every part of the country. They, and this video will prove it even for not people they hungry. Two weeks, uh, two attacks on the president. Yes. And uh, while he was on official visit, by the way, the first was when he was on official visit to Katina to uh, to launch some projects, mm. state and federal projects. And this one that happened uh, just on Monday was in Kano State, where he had gone to also launch state, uh, federal, and some private projects. Mm. Now, the, the key thing here, Rafa, is that the um, Kano State State Police um, Command, the spokesperson, has said that, has confirmed, dismissed it as false and was unsubstantiated. That's um, SP Abdullahi Haruna. He said that it, it didn't happen. That's the same narrative that was said in Katina State, whereby they said, the, so the official statement from the police is that uh, it, it didn't happen. The official statement from the APC, which is the ruling party, is that it's fake news. It's fabricated by their opponents, the PDP. The statement from the PDP states that it was, it was, it was done, it was put together, it was arranged by the Tinubu-led Presidential Campaign Council. So this is what is going on in the nation at the moment, where we have news that some people are saying, no, it didn't happen. But we see video obviously there, and this is also circulating on social media. The first thing is that this is why some Nigerians do not trust official statements or officials of state. Because you see, it's like the more you see, the le or how do they say, the more you look, the, the less, less you see. see. Because we're, we're looking at something on there that's obviously an, an, an attack. And, you know, following investigations by some, um, you know, um, newspapers and some publications, including this day, they realized that on interviewing the, the, um, the young people, they were saying that they were displeased by the state of the nation. And so this was an expression of their displeasure. This is... A, condemnable on every level, whether they're confirming it or not confirming it. And we must pay attention to the state of security, whereby now even the president's convoy is being attacked by young people. On the other side, the agitations of these young people. But I'll allow, um, you know, doctor and yourself to just um, mm. speak more on this. Doctor. Okay, any attack on, you know, the president of Nigeria is uh, a very serious uh, matter. Because that's an attempt 
but violate the integrity of the state. Because if you look at the con uh, Nigerian constitution, powers of the state are concentrated in its person. And that is why the security agencies go the long haul to make sure that the president is protected. So any form of attack on that office or person, you know, is unacceptable and is to be condemned. However, what is instructive about this is that the president was supposed to visit Kano before now. The governor of the state appealed to the president not to come. Then later a delegation was sent to him because the governor and his people as chief security officer of the state must have assessed the security situation and must have uh, been given a report about the sweltering, you know, uh, rousing anger among irate youths in the state. But then when it was considered safe for the president to come, he was asked to embark on that one day visit. But again, with that one day visit, we were told that irate youths carrying sticks carrying stones, you know, not only attack the advanced convoy, but also try to stone the helicopter of the president, uh, which went straight from the airport to the palace of the uh, emir of Kano. And then for the old days, there were issues uh, within the metropolis, uh, young people expressing the anger. Why I say it's instructive is the fact that the president went to Bauchi. They tampered with his... Uh, Microphone. I'm using that word, okay. you know, advisedly because he couldn't even make a speech. He had to leave uh, the place. He went to Katsina, you know, he's in his own home, home state. You know, there were irate you stoning, you know, uh, state vehicles. And now in Kano, you know, the president was also uh, uh, reportedly stoned yesterday. Okay, where's that myth about Buhari as a court figure? In the northern part of Nigeria? That's the question to ask. Is that being eroded? That's the big question. And is this angst that we see among northern youths, is this something beyond the redenomination, redesign of the Naira? Is this something uh, that you could stretch and say it's a comment on the performance of the Buhari administration? Because I always say it here and elsewhere that a political leader likes to be loved. Love is the oxygen that propels uh, political leaders. And then to go to your own constituency and to have stones being thrown at you, not flowers, then of course that should be disturbing. So, but it's good that the security agencies, you know, the security agents on duty were able to contain the situation and that we have not had any report mm. of any major untoward uh, development arising therefrom. Well, but this is not new. Let me uh, balance it. In uh, 2015, when we to uh, that's the uh, Jonathan administration, went to campaign in the north, I recall that, in fact, uh, you know, in uh, two states of the north, Bauchi, for example, and also I think in uh, Katsina, the, these Irish Jews were out there with their, uh, you know, uh, stones and their sticks, and there were some members of the advanced convoy that ended up in hospital. So is this a culture of violence mm. in the North? Mm. So that's another thing that the uh, security agencies would look at, should look at. Mm. Is it that every election time, there are some people who come out and they want to fight? However, the matter has been politicized, and it's as follows. The People's Democratic Party has issued a statement to say that, oh, this is the handy work of uh, Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinumbu, and that uh, Tinumbu does not like... Uh, you know, Buhari uh, is angry with Buhari. That's why he's mobilizing uh, the youth. Can they provide the evidence? Of course, the APC has also responded to say that this is fake news. So we are at a time when people just politicize anything and everything. And I do not consider that to be healthy for the polity. So I just hope I'm given the time to speak. At first, we're totally, I, I'll speak for myself, and I'm sure everybody out there totally condemns any attack on the president. It is highly condemnable. He's our president till May 29. You have a grouse with him. You can protest legitimately, air your views. The economy is not working for all of us. 
but it must not degenerate to the extent of stoning people. People have also politicized that incident and say, oh, if that had happened in the South, you'll have seen a bigger reaction. We must not inflame this country. This country is for all of us. President Buhari is still our president till May 29, and those errant youth should be called to order. Secondly, concerning the denials, I am not surprised. What do you expect the police to say? Wasn't it the police in Kanu that denied the bombing when it happened? And two days after, the DSS said the police was lying, that they actually saw people. They caught people that drove with bombs into Kanu. We interviewed the police spokesperson from Kanu on this same show, and he denied. And we all knew that he was lying by his teeth. But finally, we saw what happened. I can't speak further because of the want of time, or probably if I'm given a chance, I'll be able to enunciate my views further on this. And this year has sparked a lot of reaction on the social media. Has uh, a lot of people were saying that imagine this thing uh, for happen for eastern region of Nigeria that it is, it is uh, just waiting happen with no no shooting, no military man they attack anybody for no be the same story. Say the law enforcement people therefore don't enter the community, they kill people. But because this thing happened for not say now why uh, it'll be like say nothing happened. Even when you the politicians do they still come on here, the police they come on here, they deny him say this thing no happen at all, this thing no happen. And, and this shows how divided this country has been. That shows where we had, where we find ourselves today. Because uh, things have changed. Things have changed. And uh, a lot of people don't believe in this system anymore. And you will see how serious this uh, this division has. <laughs> this thing is serious because now our, our northern brothers are hungry too. It's unusual. You don't see them doing such a thing. You don't see them go in that direction. But when the, someone said if uh, oh, yeah, that the only people that can change Nigeria, the only people that can turn Nigeria around, now the people from the north, say as soon as the north and as they began to react to so, all the garbage where they, they do us for this country, then things will change because now they be the first citizen, <laughs> the number one citizen of Nigeria. Well, that shows how divided we are in this country. People, people, people are just hungry. People are hungry because their destinies have been tampered with. People are hungry because they cannot go to school. And even the one that even went to school they cannot secure a job they can't find anything to do and now it's that government that will come that you will be accusing them you'll be blaming them you'll be sending them to jail for doing all sorts of things and the politician will be say you're supposed to send to jail you know go send them you go you go you go you go give them bail and we'll be say they feel pay you go put them for condition we'll be say they forget will come out of it eh? this is the whole president of nigeria with these people they've stone is that not shame on nigerians and shame on the president and everybody that even this thing they happen is it, is it, is it, ah, I just hope that this 2023 election will be able to do something. We'll be able to get this thing right once and for all. We'll be able to move and be able to have a better and a good Nigeria, a better country that we deserve, that we all deserve to have. Again, this is uh, uh, the President Mamori Buhari uh, video that was trending where we say the Kano uh, youths, they were stoning the helicopter and even we, uh, uh, there, there was another one that happened in Casino that he was attacked too. So that shows uh, where the mind of the youth, m most of the youth, if not all of us, most youth, where our heart is because we are hungry. A lot of youth are hungry and we're saying enough is enough. It's time to move forward. It's time to, to, to change the change. It's time to have something better for Nigeria and something better, better, far better than we have for ourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share this video. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you get to everyone. Make sure you like our page. Make sure you follow our page. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that this video go around. And let everyone see that hey, the youth are hungry. And we demand good, good presidents. Comes 2023 election. We demand the best. We want the best of the best. We don't want nobody to impose himself on us. We want the best of the best. We want who we choose for ourselves. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. God bless. Secondly, concerning the denials, I am not surprised. What do you expect the police to say? Wasn't it the police in Kanu that denied the bombing when it happened? And two days after, the DSS said the police was lying, that they actually saw people. They caught people that drove with bombs into Kanu. We interviewed the police spokesperson from Kanu on this same show, and he denied. And we all knew that he was lying by his teeth. But finally... We saw what happened. 
all right too much trouble in this country i make sure you share this video as uh, uh i'm checking the reaction of people as uh, president mamadu buhari in kano and some angry youths they pursue the helicopter try to stone the man i want to make you watch the video and see even uh, uh for the reaction of nigerians the reaction of the arrive tv and this morning uh, uh just check it out check the video out and i uh, will talk after People they hungry for this country. People they hungry. They are not be say uh, now nah, one part of the country anymore. Every part of the country. They, and this video will prove it even for not people they hungry. Two weeks, uh, two attacks on the president. Yes. And uh, while he was on official visit, by the way, the first was when he was on official visit to Katina to uh, to launch some projects, mm. state and federal projects. And this one that happened uh, just on Monday was in Kano State, where he had gone to also launch state, uh, federal, and some private projects. Mm. Now, the, the key thing here, Rafa, is that the um, Kano State State Police um, Command, the spokesperson, has said that, has confirmed, dismissed it as false and unsubstantiated. That's um, SP Abdullahi Haruna. He said that it, it didn't happen. That's the same narrative that was said in Katina State, whereby they said, the, so the official statement from the police is that oh, it, it didn't happen. The official statement from the APC, which is the really Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been educated with this video. I hope you have learned something from the video you just watched. Please go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever you think about the video you have watched, anything you have learned that you wanted to share together, go to the comment section and keep yourself busy. It's a free place where people share their opinion. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a video comes out. And also, share the video to your family and friends. Share it to all platforms so that people can get aware of what is happening in the world, mainly in the contraption called Nigeria. We have to keep people on their toe, keep people informed on what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. Every video you are watching in this channel is for the purpose of education and nothing more. Thank you so much for watching and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again.